Australia will take a seven point aggregate lead into their second test against Ireland after they pulled off a 47 to 40 point win over the home side in the International Rules Series. Skipper Adam Goods was top scorer with four overs. The second and concluding test in Croke Park in Dublin is in a week's time. The International Rules Series has had everything from pitch invading dogs to violent flare ups in the past. But in Limerick, it was the Australians' kicking ability with the round ball that was getting all the attention. Cross kicking looks a good one. And that is another red flag. It's an over. Daniel Cross gets one. That's a really good kick. No problems whatsoever with the round ball here. The Irish trail by three points going into the second term. The former Pi, who makes Maltese, is trying to coax back to Melbourne, reduce the deficit, but just by a point. And Marty Clark's got one. He'd be looking for more than that. Aussie skipper Adam Goods impressed, taking his tally to two overs in the second quarter. The tourists with a five-point cushion going into the main break. Ireland's first score in the second half took over 11 minutes to come. When it did, it had a heavy AFL influence. Sydney Swans' Ty Kennelly setting up St Kilda's Irish recruit. Walsh puts it between the post and over. And it's Ireland's fourth over of the match. First score of the third quarter. If Gaelic football ever turns professional, Eddie Betts could have a career in the Emerald Isle. That's as good as any corner forward anywhere in Gaelic football. The visitors lead blew out to 15 points in the final term, and it could have been more. Good off the crossbar, and it has gone over. Should have gone under for the first goal of this match. Instead, it was the Irish who scored the first and only six-pointer, and it was a spectacular one at that. Now here's the chance. Brogan, the baller of the year. Early need to go. He's gone. The Dublin footballer's effort inspired a comeback. Ireland scored the last 11 points of the test to reduce the deficit to seven, setting up a dramatic sequel next week in Crow Park. Murphy gets it. There's the siren. And that's the end of the action from Limerick and the opening test, which has been won by Australia. For most of the match, they were much the better team. Catherine Murphy, Fox Sports News.